Hello everybody, my name is Katrinka. I'm a professional singer and a vocal coach and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special treat because I do believe that Morissette and her performances are best of the special treats. She will be performing Phoenix, her new song, and she's gonna be performing it on a Wish Bus Live. I'm very excited about this one because a Wish Bus Live performances are very high quality and I've reacted to a bunch of them on my channel. Morissette is one of the most legendary belters of Philippines and uh, probably the first Filipino I've ever reacted to. So let's get into it. If you are interested in everything singing and music related, this is the right place for you. So please don't forget to subscribe. We are super close to 200,000 subscribers. And if you want to hear me singing, head to my second channel called Katrinka Music. Link to the second channel and all of my social media is going to be down in the description. And now without any further ado, Morissette Phoenix. Let's go. Fighting every day doesn't feel like living. So much on my plate, so much on my mind. Trying to numb the pain, learn if it is working. Don't want to take this grave, but I'm alive. One thing that you have to give Morissette is that imagine that you hold that much of a power like she does. You know what she's capable with her voice. She can build incredibly and her voice is just extremely substantial, super well supported. Like she is capable of incredible things with her voice. But you have to give it to her that when she's starting the song or she's starting the performance, she goes so light. She goes so incredibly light. Ah, it's like going super slow with a high speed car. <laughs> and that's a skill on its own because it takes a lot to really tame it down to this level, to be so, so soft. This hope comes with the morning. There's a chance to start over again. Just as long as. She's connecting phrases beautifully. She knows how to do it. That's a very, very good sign. But the connection with her phrases is just beautifully flawless. That's why it doesn't feel chopped into tiny pieces. It feels very fluent. You can feel the, the song progressing. Also, that tiny switch to her voice, that was cute. So let's show. All right. Well, one thing that we know about Morissette is that she has a fantastic, fantastic technique. One thing that I really appreciate with her that is a little bit maybe old school, but she's doing it and I think it helps incredibly is that she's not only dropping her jaw, which is creating a lot of space for the tone to be bigger to just get that substance she's not just dropping the jaw but she's also keeping her smile up which is creating a tiny bit more space and it can make a world of a difference notice that every single time she's belting very high notes the corners of her mouth are up that's an extra space that you can add there and it's gonna make the tone even bigger and it's also going to help you to create that huge, beautiful, bright belt. So much now has changed, finding no perspective, had an easy fate. But we'll be with the ride, and we will call... She's starting to insert all that typical stuff for Mario, like the little voice breakages and cries. And I bet you there's going to be the typical Mori girl as well. There it is. Alive, 
Mori has the cutest girls in the world. I swear, I call them Mori girls and they are so adorable. She loves to use them quite a lot. And uh, they are something like a signature for her. They're super, super cute. <laughs> Mm, that was nice. She always takes time to work on both scales, on the big scale and on a small scale as well. So on a big scale, there are the big builds, big phrases, just overall control of the song, a progression of the song. But on a small scale, she dissects a little tiny phrase to make a micro run there, or a little growl, or she inserts a variation around the tone that she's supposed to sing. It's a great job because that's a sign of a good singer. You want to be good on a big scale, but at the same time, you have to be able to still work precisely on the small scale as well because that's what's creating the fantastic performance both good work on a big and small scale as well Well, it's not a surprise to me that when she is about to sing her own song or when she was com I'm not I'm not sure if she composed Phoenix or if it was composed for her but it's her song and um it really doesn't surprise me that she went for a full belt session but she can definitely uh afford to do that because her voice is very very milk and honey type it's very earthy and it's not like bright metallic voice if you would have a really bright metallic voice belting like this for like straight two minutes you would go deaf probably you would have enough but with a voice like her she can definitely afford to do that because her voice is not piercing her belts are per usual absolutely stunning um she is doing them the way that she always do so it's a straight tone that she fixes very well open it completely and then adds a little bit of a vibrato at the very end so the tension of uh, keeping that tone perfect is definitely there and at the very end of the phrase she kind of relaxes it and let let it create that vibrato naturally I love that type of singing because it's healthy, it's stunning. Also, she prepares every belt in advance. Like mentally, she is already belting two to three seconds before she even starts belting. She went from 100 to 10, and now she's gonna go from 10 to 100. <laughs> There's just a few people who can control their emotions as well, like this. This is a fight song. Wish closer. For example, this part, she did not belt it with a full belt because it would be way too much. She opted for way, way uh, lighter approach because she knew the end of the song is coming and she has to pull a little bit back if she would belt it it would be too much on wish 107.5
What a stunning ending to the whole song. Beautiful. Good job, girl. That song, I, I also have to give a huge props for that song. That is definitely not just a balletic, beautiful, romantic. No, this is actually a fight song. It's a march song. It's a strong one. Definitely something that gives you a lot of inspiration to keep on walking, if you know what I mean. From the technical point of view, it's a great song to uh, showcase her whole um, singing kind of personality. She could apply everything that she loves to apply, maybe except the whistle, because the whistle was not present there. We know that the, the Mori whistle is absolutely legendary. And uh, she didn't whistle in this song, which is fine. But the whistle is something so atypical and just so rare that you don't have to put it in every single song that you sing if you can do it also. You don't see other singers that also can do whistle, just put it everywhere. You have to keep it rare. If you work with voice for a longer time, you can feel nervousness or like stress in singing. And uh, it's completely normal. It's completely natural. 90% of singers, if they would about, if they were about to sing this song, would be nervous and stressed because this is an incredibly tough song. And she was so calm. <laughs> and just so calm and so collected. She got the she was everything from belts to little Mori girls, as I call them. I love this performance. It's been to her absolute standard. And um, Mori is a standard of, of her own. If we would standardize Mori's singing, then we can all pack our bags and go home, honestly. <laughs> I was looking forward to her live singing on Wish Buzz again because every single time it's so stunning because they have the best technique, the sound is really crisp, and it really showcases all the beautiful quirks and all the beautiful things she does within her singing. Let me know down in the comments which Wish Buzz performances you would like to see on my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe right here. Here is the video that YouTube actually recommended for you. And here is the rest of my Filipino reactions. Please stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.